On the wall of St. Joseph Church hangs a black and white photograph with a caption remembering when the Italian parish of Serid gave 270 people emergency hospitality last year. Now, coffins of the dead from COVID-19, sometime up to 40 at a time. It was a shocking scene. Dozens of coffins lining the inside of a church in small town northern Italy because the hospitals and morgues were overflowing. That was one year ago, and Italy, once the epicenter of COVID in Europe, is now struggling once again with new coronavirus restrictions across most of the country and a coming Easter lockdown to stop yet another spike in cases. Reuters recently visited the priest who opened his doors to the dead back then, 270 of them in total. I am Father Mario Carminati, senior priest of the community at Seriate. It was a nightmare, but I didn't have the opportunity to think about it a lot. Because when you find yourself in the middle of an emergency, you have to rush and act according to your instinct and not according to your heart. The pandemic was devastating for the community because the city became a place of silence with the noise of ambulance sirens passing by. It became a place of death sadness, mourning, and this was an experience we lived for at least three months. Today there's a photo on the wall of Father Carminati's church remembering that time. His congregation wears masks to mass. Milan, which is only an hour away, is a so-called red zone again, with non-essential shops closed. Schools are closed, again, and there's restrictions on movement again. It's all very familiar. We visited Father Carminati before these most recent curbs, but he was thinking of the future. We must move forward with this wound that will heal slowly. Two of my nephews died. One was 36 and one was 34. And they died after five months of fighting against the coronavirus. And it's not easy to heal this wound. The wound returns. It bleeds on many occasions. It will take some time for this pain to become nostalgia. It is not something that can immediately heal. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.